Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part two. Once I fertilized your egg, we transferred it to a human woman. We carried it to term. It was pretty, funny, great smile. You would have liked her. Although her mother died during childbirth, Casey's heart never failed. I guess she gets that well to live from you. I've seen her path. It's uh, difficult, but rewarding. She'll know the mind of God in this lifetime. She'll see patterns that others do not see. She probably gets that spiritual clarity from me. Even let your own child starve for you. It's not my child. I don't even know if it's human. Half human. And you know that she's yours, you just won't admit it. Where the frack are you going? Take this with you. <laughs> okay. Hey! Don't leave me alone with this. With this? I listen. No more suicide bombings, Colonel. You understand? What, are you working for the Cylons now? Mm. Yeah, he needed that. <laughs> he said right I'm back sorry, down and continue smoking. <laughs> Just smash that see. cigarette out of his mouth, though. Little things like that, they don't matter anymore. In fact, not too fracking much really matters anymore. I got one job here, lady, and one job only. To destruct the Cylons. Make them worry about the anthill they've stirred up down here so they're distracted and out of position when the old man shows up in orbit. <clears throat> the bombings, they got the Cylons' attention. They really got their attention, and I am not giving that up. We are talking about people blowing themselves up. You know, sometimes I think that you've got ice water in those veins, and other times I think you're just a naive little school teacher. I've sent men on suicide missions in two wars now, and let me tell you something. You don't make a goddamn bit of difference whether they're riding in a viper or walking out onto a parade ground. In the end, they're just as dead. So take your piety and your moralizing and your high-minded principles and stick them someplace safe until you're off this rock and you're sitting in your nice, cushy chair on Colonial One again. I've got a war to fight. Its tensions are just causing more resentment and more enemies. We're losing ground as a people. I know. We don't have another option. We have to send the message that suicide bombings won't be tolerated. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, sure, Jammer. I'll catch up with you. Sir, I don't know exactly how to broach this. Nor do I know exactly what I expect you to do about it. But, um, I thought, you know, since we were, uh, anyway, since we were, uh, Back on Galactica. Yeah, Jared, just spin it out. Okay. We picked up Chief Tyrrell's wife on the last raid, Callie. She's in detention. I think she's on a list. Cylons critically wounded. Fourteen had to be euthanized. They had casualties too. Four human dead. Who gives a frack about that part of the language? The power substation was crippled. Most half the cities without power, and our best estimates put the repairs in two weeks. You still think we're being too hard on the human population? 
population? We have a very serious, very straightforward problem. Either we increase control or we lose control. That's a fact. We think it's time for stronger measures. We agree. We agree. We agree also. Most of us do anyway. Enough. <laughs> What's this? This orders the summary executions of all the detainees listed on the next page. It requires your signature. Wow. You're the president. Why? Mm. Read it later. Sign now. Just because you've decided to do this doesn't mean you need to drag him into sin with you. Don't you lecture me about sin. I'm not the one who committed the first act of Cylon and Cylon violence in our history. What's she talking about? She crushed my head in with a rock back on Caprica. Mm. Interesting she didn't tell you. It's something I had to do. I'm not proud of it. It's all very interesting. Very edifying. Sign the order. Dang! Well, actually, we do. We're here as allies and friends of the legitimate government of the colonies. You are the president, so everything we do requires your search. In other words, they're worried about what God might think if they commit murder. They're covering their existential asses. I won't do it. All right, I won't do it. You're going to have to solve your conscience in some other way. Then we'll find another president. Mm. Oh. Stop this. This is crazy. He'll be back. But if he pulls that trigger now, you won't. Mm -hmm. Sign it! Sign it! Oh, sign your name! Sign it! Sign it! Sign There's it. nothing you can do, guys. It'll be okay. It's you. Help me. You have to sign it. They'll kill you if you don't. Sign it! Sign! Sign! Sign your name! Sign it! I can't. I won't. You can't force me. Sometimes you have to do things you hate so you can survive to fight another day. That don't make sense. <laughs> that don't make no sense now whatsoever. I mean, repeat that to yourself and see if it makes sense. He just signed it. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I share an agathon. I, Sharon Agathon, do now pledge my faith and my loyalty. Do now pledge my faith and my loyalty to the protection of the twelve colonies of Cobalt. To the protection of the twelve colonies of Cobalt. What? I'm confused. <laughs> and will carry out the lawful orders of my superiors. And will carry out the lawful orders of my superiors. As an officer. As an officer. In the colonial fleet. In the colonial fleet. I was about to say you better be specific because. Congratulations, Lieutenant. She's back. She's back. Never thought I'd love to see the day. Me neither. Can I ask you a question? How do you know? I mean, how do you really know that you can trust me? I don't. That's what trust is. Mm -hmm. Good honey, Lieutenant. You better come on with that meat salute. <laughs> <laughs> that was really something. <laughs> How is Saul? Fine. When is this next meeting with the insurgents? Mm. No point in denying it, Alan. We know he's their leader. Mm. Why do you think we let him out of detention? I thought it was because of the twist. Yeah, well, yes, that too, for sure. But having the colonel out and active with the resistance presents us with certain advantages. I don't know anything about them. Let's just consider your denials as read. Shall we? Mm. I want a specific place. I mm. want a specific time for a very high-level meeting of the insurgency leadership. And well, I don't get it. Girl. We pick up Saul again. And this time, he'll lose more than an eye. Mm. Tomorrow, the Galactica is going to send two Raptors, several Marines, and a ground liaison officer is going to help brief us on the rescue mission and help coordinate our evac plans. I'll be damned to be happy. Who's the liaison officer? Sharon. I hope that's your idea of a joke. 
Admiral Adama is given the uniform of the village. She is a serving officer, which is more than you can say about us, effectively speaking. The old man lost his mind, all right. Where's the rendezvous? Uh, they left that up to us. Okay, here's my suggestion. They jump into Breeders Canyon out here in the southern range. Uh -huh. 